All right, guys. So I'm about to do a little tune up here on my dad's truck. Show you guys what we've got here. We've got a new air filter, fuel filter, new PCV, six new spark plugs, and a new plug wire set. Now everything except the plugs obviously are Motorcraft and uh, Rock Auto, where my dad bought all this stuff from. Uh, you can get a really good deal on a lot of stuff, especially just, you know, normal maintenance items like this. It's a hell of a lot more cheaper than the, than the dealership, and it's definitely cheaper than AutoZone. So the air filter is really easy. You have these two clasps here on both sides. You can go ahead and undo this hose clamp. Also went ahead and undid this little connector here. Get this out of the way, and it just comes right off. So here we have his old air filter, and it's a little worse for wear. There's some, definitely some stuff in the pleats. It's doing its job, but it's time for a new one. Here's our new Motorcraft one. You just take your new air filter and put it in. The top part of your air filter assembly. Stick it back in. Lock it down, reconnect your hose, and then your connector. Now we're on to our PCV. Comes with two little connectors, as well as the PCV itself. That's the part number. Sometimes these go bad, you get to change them every now and again. And on this particular motor, on the three liter, it is back here. You guys aren't gonna be able to see it, that's right on top of the valve cover. There you go. Not too hard to remove. Um, it is with a camera in my hand, so what I'm probably gonna do, let's just see. Now I did kind of move it back here a little bit, and you just wanna kind of rotate it out. And here we have it. So as you guys can see, it just uses the single elbow at the top. So we'll go ahead and use the new single elbow, stick it on top of the new PCV, stick it back into our little hose down there, and stick it back onto the, on top of the valve cover. Now, I'm about to start doing the fuel filter. The first thing you want to do is depressurize your fuel system. There's a little Schrader valve right up here at the top. Go ahead and, go ahead and push her down. Shoots a bunch of fuel out, so you uh, don't want to stick your head over it. On some of these Rangers, you'll have uh, quick disconnect fittings on them. And it goes in like this. This is the front side, and it's got the little clip on it. The back side actually has the new one. All right, so here's a new fuel filter. I'll show you guys how this thing goes on. This actually goes in a lot easier than I thought it would. As you guys can see, the fuel line that comes from the filter to the motor actually has one of those little plastic clips on it. Well of course that broke and the new one did not come with the new clip. So here's the old filter. It's got this weird little connector thing on here and uh, it basically kind of went on like so. Can't really do it one-handed but those two arms right there basically go up into it like that. Not really all that hard to remove. You just undo the back here and then it can slide out. And then uh, it's like a quick disconnect. Basically all you have to do now is just pull the filter out and throw the new one in. And the new one just goes on like so. As you can see, the back part just clips in, the two arms go back in. It's really easy. And the front one, I'm going to have to do a bit of a redneck repair to this so it doesn't come undone. Might use a might have to use a zip tie. As you guys can see I took a small smaller black zip tie and just kind of looped it through and right up here. Wrapped it all the way on, around on the inside. I didn't go on the outside at all because this entire connector is ribbed. So I went through the inside, wrapped it around all the way to the outside right here. And now she does not want to come out which is a good thing. So now I can 
finish up with the tune-up with the spark plugs and the wires. So I've got three out so far. These are in fact the original plugs. They definitely needed to come out. I have the entire driver's side of the engine done right now. Well, almost. But it's not too hard to get to, especially when you have long extensions and a universal joint at the end. It's just great. It's not hard at all to do it. So, let me go ahead and finish off this side, and I'm going to go ahead and put the new plug wires on that side. Okay, so I have all the new plug wires and plugs in. Everything's down okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and prime it a few times. have to take it out on a test drive. We're just taking the truck out. My dad should see a small uh, fuel economy increase. I'm already noticing it's just slightly more responsive. I drove this thing a couple weeks ago. So, I mean, it feels more responsive. These are good trucks, though. Yeah, seems to be pretty good. I'm happy with it. If you guys it. enjoyed this video, this truck has 86,000 miles on it now. And uh, hopefully it'll last my dad for quite a while longer. You all stay classy.